job for a short guy. It's not. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Uh, if you remember, what, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I was over at your place, pen fencing. Yep. And this is Matt. And you, Mike. good, you got the guys coming out today to uh, start. I do. Yeah, coming out, we're gonna get started with the vinyl fence this morning. Uh, set some posts for the gates for the, your chain link fence. Uh, have a chain link crew coming in tomorrow to wrap that up. So in a couple days, you're gonna be all fenced in here. I'm, I'm looking forward to yeah. it, I am. I was telling uh, Matt earlier, I got everything ready on the other side here. Got a little bit more work to do down here. That won't take long. And uh, Melissa's been wanting this fence for, well, since I tore the old one down. Right. She's <laughs> been a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she so, has. So we'll Get you closed up. Yeah, I look forward to it. What I'll do over the next day and a half or so, I'll kind of follow the guys around. Then maybe when we're all done, me and you can do Perfect. like a walkthrough of everything. You can do that. That sound That'll good? Work. Sure. All right, Matt, thanks. Thank you. All right, the guys just showed up with the vinyl. I have no idea if this is all of it or not. Big pallet of ready mix. Okay, hey, could you redo that? <laughs> well, <we're in> <laughs> Three more times. I'm like, he goes, get them pouring concrete. I'm like, yeah, okay. It's dead. I'm like, I oh, know. These are pretty heavy duty posts. When I saw we're gonna have log trucks going up and down the gate over here, we wanted to make sure we got a wide enough gate. So we beefed the posts up a little bit. Uh, want a 12 foot opening here, a 16 foot opening over there where you're gonna be driving and equipment moving through all the time. Right. Make sure we're not whacking into the new fence. Right, yeah. So. Yeah, 12 foot's plenty here for it the- It is. This is just to get out. This is actually overkill for over here, but we just wanted to keep them the, the same as the gate that's right there. So yeah. that's the appropriate size post for a 16 foot gate. So. And then you set the post today. And so we're gonna tomorrow. be able to stretch the chain link off them tomorrow. Gotcha. Probably leave them set a couple days before we hang the gates on them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, they got these four posts set. Tomorrow they can start stringing fence off of there. Then I think they may wait another day uh, for the gates but yeah I like this nice and wide now we didn't quite center it and the reason is this I come up from the wood yard and sometimes drive up this road with a trailer or down this way so we kind of favored this side I can widen that driveway out even a little bit more on that side if I want so it should be good
right, so what are we doing now? We're getting ready to start setting some posts for your vinyl fence. So we're gonna set the posts coming down this far side first. We actually have some panel material that Jess already made for us, so the level sections we can actually put in today. Any section that's gonna have a grade to it, gonna call back the measurement to her and she's gonna make the stuff to fit the grade, basically. That follows Sometimes the contour. follows the contour of the ground. Very nice. Exactly. All right, day one of fence installation. So let me show you. Look, the chickens are loving this fresh dirt. Mike stripped all this off. I think you might've heard about that. Tree went, he took two trees, I think, down and stripped off the grass. So this would be, there'd be a level place for when the gate comes off across the driveway, but the fence is coming down off the house. They got those posts in. And let me just give you a sneak peek of the other side. So there'll be a nice big gate across the driveway. And then the fence will go up along that side. And in the corner, there's gonna be a corner over there. It'll be a chain link fence that matches up with the back. So there'll be a gate head in that direction out the trail. And then there's gonna be another gate headed down to the wood yard. The decorative fence that looks nice, you can see that post up there, that's gonna come right past that tree. And then from here down is gonna be chain link. It'll meet a gate right here. And then chain link and then a gate right here. And then the chain link will meet up with the old existing chain link fence. So yeah, pretty excited. All right, day two here. What's John doing now, Matt? So we have John here. He is going to drive a line post on this fence. So here with our ground conditions on a lot of residential jobs, we actually opt to drive the post instead of dig and set them. A uh, couple reasons for that. Ultimately, it's saving our customers a little bit of money because on a one day job, we can actually drive the posts and frame and stretch the chain link and complete the whole project for them in one day. So he had a sight mark on the post based off the string, the measurement off the ground, so he knows how far down to right. drive the post, and it's going to be set perfectly. Don't need to cut the top of the post typically. So since we're on that grade right there, and by the way, I cut all this out here. I'll finish this right in here, and I think this will look pretty nice. So now when that chain link ties into the old chain link, Obviously, you're going to have yeah, to cut that on an angle. Yep, going to have to have a bias cut on each end of that. So posts are always plumb, but the chain link itself is going to follow the grade and be cut at each end. Now, John works mostly by himself? Typically by himself, unless it's a real big project. But he does most of our residential chain link fence installs. So you can see you could actually walk over there and shake that post. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. If it's in kind of virgin ground, it's tight, it, it's not moving. 
no chance of a freeze and thaw cycle, uh, pushing the post back up like you may have with a small concrete footer, right. like you would have with a small post like that. Oh yeah. It's not a job for a short guy. It's not. Yeah. Tall is definitely better with a longer post. <laughs> so we've been driving posts since we started in business 46 years ago. That little portable unit sure is a big improvement over the old days of the oh, yeah. calendar. All right, so we're basically doing a uh, little demonstration here. He just ponded that one in. Now over, what's the pros and cons of augering the hole? Over here, we're gonna dig inside. So not a whole lot of cons other than price. It's gonna take twice as long, basically. So and a little on, bit on of concrete. A, and a little bit of concrete. So on a, on a small job, we're not able to do the job in one day. We're gonna dig and set it one day and come back after the concrete sets up uh, and then frame and stretch, so. We have the bigger machine here today. We're gonna auger, uh, main reason, we're gonna auger holes out there for your cantilever gate. Yeah. So we're gonna use a 16 inch bit on those and get a lot of concrete in those because those cantilevers, when it slides the whole way open, there's a ton of pressure pulling up on that oh, last I bet. post. Yeah. So we definitely wanted to get uh, good footers in there. So this is a good little experiment. I'd say after this concrete sets up, do a little jiggle test. Really, you can't tell the difference, at so, least in our ground conditions here. Don't run into them with the excavator, though, just a little. No, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend that. You'd have to call us back. They're going to bend with the excavator. Yeah. But yeah. either way, I'd say the post is going to bend before the footer fails or the driving system fails. Yeah, but that one there was really tight. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Very important with the concrete footer, just getting enough enough depth. We've gone back and fixed enough installations done by other people yeah. where somebody will dig a hole that's cone shaped. And once yeah. that do water gets underneath, pushes the footer right back out of the ground. I got. So we try to bell out the bottom of the hole, even if it's just one scoop with a post hole digger. It kind of locks the footer in place. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah.
How's it going? Going good. Looks Coming good. Moving right along. Good. Looks nice. just stopped over the guys are uh, rolling yeah m moving pretty good now it's starting to look like a fence isn't it it definitely looks like a fence yeah. now I love it Melissa's not here right now but uh, you know it's a busy road out there it is. and this is even quiet it's you know it's quieter and people from the road can't see up in here it's, it it's really nice I like uh, this transition into the chain link but uh you got a good crew out here yeah they're they're doing a great job uh fidel he's the foreman on this project he's kind of like the heartbeat of our installation operation don't know what we would do without him he's a great guy and uh, i mean speaks for itself he knows what he's doing yeah just kind of rolls down over the hill looks like it was made for it because yeah. it was yeah yeah the whole operation yeah. And the way yesterday, so he called into Jess over there, right? To the, some of the measurements. Some of these pickets had to be cut at a different length and things like that. Um, that way, as you can see, rolls right down over the hill. Yeah. No steps. Pretty even, consistent gap at the bottom. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So all we have left to do here is put on some post caps. This section's done. And then Monday plan on coming and setting the gates Co coming over and hanging your cantilever gate up there so we're going to fab that up at the shop tomorrow mount the vinyl to the gate frame yeah uh, then we'll bring it over and, and hang it on those posts so yesterday they set some pretty nasty footers for those They're 16 big. inch holes about four foot deep that gate's not moving anywhere yeah 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 so the second post on the other side, that's just to take some weight off of it when it opens so, up. So that's called the counterbalance post. So that gate frame is one and a half times the opening. Okay. So when it's slid the whole way to the left, which is closed, it's going to be hanging off those two posts. Basically yeah. all the weight to the left. When you open it up, all the weight's going to be to the right, hanging off those two posts. I got gotcha. you. So it's centered between the open and the close. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like it. It just changes yeah. everything. Yeah, when you come good... down over the hill, around the bend and down over, it really changes the way your yard looks for yeah. the better. It looks good. Yeah. Matches well, I... the building. Yeah, it does. Perfect match for that. Yeah. Did I tell you I was teasing Fidel the other day about my truck here? Oh, yeah? <laughs> it was sitting here, and he said, uh, I said, is that in your way? I'll move it. And he said, well, it's fine. I can get work around it. I said, I can move it. He says, well, if, if it'll start. I said, what do you mean if it'll start, Fidel? <laughs> start better than some of our new ones. <laughs> I said, it's only 50-some years old. And then I got in it worried. I hope it starts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but it did. Yeah. Yeah, really nice guy, though. Nice crew. Nice company. Appreciate everything.
Yep, so we got the chain link gates also. Uh, they welded those yesterday and we framed them up at the shop, put the chain link fabric on them. And I actually brought those over with me as well, so we'll get those hung up for you today. So you'll be all secure except for the front gate. Okay, good deal. And then, uh, you can stop back over when we do the big gate? Yeah, I will. Okay. I'll probably give them a hand. It's gonna be pretty heavy once we get all that vinyl on them. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah. All right, Matt, well, th thanks for everything. I appreciate sure. it. Sure, Mike. So we've got uh, Fidel here. How long have you been putting in fence? About 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, same company. What did you do before that? Uh, horse racing. Horse racing. Were you a trainer or? Uh, exercise rider, which is just, I went to school to be a jockey, then I grew up too fast, so I was too heavy. <laughs> Can't make the weight no more. Yeah. So then I started riding in the morning for exercise. Okay, very nice. But man, you did a fantastic job on everything. And attention to detail. Uh, really impressed. Thank you. You did a really nice job. So what'd you say, 12 years, 15 years you've been with 15, Penn? yeah. 15 years. Yeah. And, uh, and then when you go home, you're remodeling your kitchen, huh? Yeah, I'm always working. <laughs> always working. Always working. Well, I appreciate it, man. I, I do. You did a fantastic job. No problem. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Any questions, any issues, just uh, call me and I'll take care of them for you. You've got... Uh, two man gates and then you're going to set the big gate on monday right yes monday we're going to have the big gate give that concrete a couple more days yeah yeah that's the heaviest uh part of the fence there yeah so. well very nice man i appreciate everything no problem thank you thanks i love our new fence it is nice isn't it yeah it's very nice Got a gate right here. Yeah. We have a uh, man gate right there, and they're both keyed. Uh, you can lock those. And I mentioned the other day they're going to come on, uh, or I mentioned earlier, they're going to come and put the big gate in on Monday. Okay. Down there. And that'll be it. Uh, then I got to put the yard back in. But we're debating all this stuff right here. I think we're going to take all this out of here. We still have the remnants of this fence right here but when you're standing here you can only see cars like when you when you're up here on the concrete right through the gate and you won't be able to see that after the gates up but Ooh, uh whoops <laughs> don't fall i won't um it's also a nice place to put a pool yeah it kind of slopes away too much <laughs> really nice beautiful. job though and over on the other side of the building the way it transitions from this to the chain link yeah uh but they all did a nice job pen yeah. fencing I'll put a link in the description. They service a pretty big area here, I think, you know, Western PA, down in West Virginia, Ohio, plus they ship stuff. But the key is, from what I learned, being able to cut all those panels, you can make everything just right. flow with the slopes so nice. And yeah. Uh, yeah, really nice. I learned a lot. You happy with it? I'm very happy and they were very nice, very efficient. Um, yeah, so thank you to Pen Fencing. I'll put a link to their business in the description, another small business uh, that we like to support. And I think that's about it. You wanna wrap this up, Melissa? Yeah, thanks so much for being here, being a part of all this. We appreciate watching. Comment down below and we'll see you on the next one.